With demand for SUVs continuing unabated, says our reviewer Sasha, every car maker has to have one in its range. Fiat realized it had always had a major gap in the family, a genuine off-roader. So it took the Fremont, also known as the Dodge Journey, added skid plates in front and back, and lo and behold, an SUV. Well, almost. That's what we'll be testing today. Fiat's off-roader started more as a crossover, hence the name Fremont Cross. Its bold contours set it clearly apart from other models in the same series. The front sports redesigned bumpers with platinum chrome colored inserts, a gloss black front grille and fog lamps. The side skirts likewise have a platinum chrome finish. For Sasha, a real SUV has to have all-wheel drive, even if it's rarely actually needed. The Fremont Cross only includes the feature with the most powerful gasoline and diesel engines. He's driving a 125-kilowatt diesel, and the all-wheel drive seems to handle snow and ice quite well. The engine is a 2-liter, 16-valve turbo diesel multi-jet unit. The details of the body design are just as bold. The new skirt on the rear, for instance. Moving on to the interior, how spacious is it? Being a relatively large car, the Fiat Fremont has lots of space. Folding the second and third rows of seats down produces 1,461 liters of cargo space. Leaving the second row up cuts that to 540 liters. And if you need the third row for the kids, for example, you're left with just 145 liters of space. That's not much when packing for a vacation. The interior has a stylish look and feel. There's a top quality sound system by Alpine fitted as standard, as is the sat nav with a 8.4 inch touchscreen. Passengers in the second or third row of seats can enjoy the DVD system, which costs about 900 euros extra. It'll be up to the buyer, whether father or mother, to decide whether such a steep price is worth it. Here in Austria, the view out the windows is definitely worth a look, and it comes for free. Now Sasha's going to see how the Fremont Cross copes with snow and ice. The 2-liter 16-valve multi-jet turbo diesel puts 125 kilowatts of power through a 6-speed automatic transmission. And all-wheel drive means even distribution to all four wheels. The Cross manages the run-up from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 11.1 seconds, with a top speed of 183 kilometers per hour. Fiat rates fuel consumption at 7.3 liters per 100 kilometers. This wannabe SUV starts at just under 32,500 euros in Germany. It scores high for a distinctive look and exclusive equipment features. The top of the line version offers a little extra luxury. What does our car tester say about it? The Fiat Fremont Cross is 4,000 euros for purely cosmetic enhancements. It still may not be a genuine SUV, but it's a good car with all-wheel drive and a powerful 125-kilowatt diesel engine. Buyers looking for a real SUV will have to go to the competition or consider something smaller than the sizable Fremont. <laughs>